And a happy Thursday evening to you folks. Hope you're ready for some NBA action here on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Brian, the Blazers have had some bold moves to create flexibility and go younger. Anthony Simon said, we've been very resilient and we're sticking with it. All tied together, feeding off of each other, playing free, playing loose, playing hard. And that's all we need. Guys, back to you. Well, he's been a big part of it, Allie. Thanks a lot. Everyone's still finding their footing in this early part of the season, Grant. How important is it to get off to a really hot start? Oh, it's so important to get off early to a good start, B.A. You really want to build some momentum early. In some ways, it can really set the tone for the rest of the season. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. Jackson and George, they're manning the backcourt. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court, And it's Kennard in at the small forward position. And for the Trailblazers, the forwards, Harden Grant. Lillard and Simons are the one of the two. And it's Nurkic in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Kennard. Pass to Zubats. Clock at six. Fires at the elbow. Kennard can't get it to go. Hard against Kennard. Outside for Grant. Shoots over Zubats. And he recovers it. Back to Hart. Over Morris. Hart can't hit. To the middle. That one's good from Morris. On the assist by Jackson. I like when Reggie Jackson is seeking out his teammate. He could have took that shot, but his teammate, he was wide open. Grant the pass to Simons. Gets some space and parries the jumper. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. How about the last couple of years for Jeremy Grant? BA, 6'8, playing a three or the four. He's really found some comfort in scoring the basketball. Followed up his best season with another great offensive performance last year. Now here's Grant. He played a great game against San Antonio. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That'll send Jeremy Grant to the free throw line. It'll go on Luke Kennard. And you talk about a basketball family. Jeremy Grant's father was a pro. His uncle, his brothers. I mean, plenty of competition growing up. And even though Jeremy grew up around the game, you know, success wasn't handed to him, Grant. Not at all. I mean, he was a second-round pick out of Syracuse, and he's really had to prove himself as an NBA player. He has truly come a long way. Not the efficient start they were hoping for. Only one for four from the field. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Man, good whistle there. Good for Morris. And the Blazers had been a mainstay of the playoffs for so long up until last year. Yeah, B.A., they ended an eight-year streak by missing the playoffs. The franchise has had a lot of sustained success. They missed the playoffs just 15 times in their 50-plus years. Both free throws good from Morris. Here's Lillard. His last outing, we saw him score 22. Simon's outside. Morris against Grant. Pass to Lillard. Portland, no good that time either. The Clippers have gone one of four to begin this one. Morris for three. Lillard pulls down the board. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. And the shot goes down. The 
playmaking skills of Lillard. Reads defenses so well and recognizes when they've left a teammate uncovered. Now here's Jackson giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Here's George, and the layup is good off the glass. Excellent move to score the basketball despite a weak hit. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Now here's George. 23 points his last outing. Back to Morris. The three buries it from three. Morris has got seven points. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Lillard can't get it to go. The Clippers in the lead. Zubat passes to Jackson. Morris with it. Over Simons. That one rolls around and rims out. Up and over Kennard. Portland again missing. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Jackson outside. Back to Kennard. Shoots over Hart. Kennard can't get it to go. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Hart finds Nurkic. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And use of Nurkic, a solid role player, fits well into any team environment. A great passer and doesn't need touches to contribute. Last year, Nurkic can also act as a mentor with young players, Grant. Yeah, B.A., and that's a great veteran presence from Nurkic. Not a star player by any means, but a player everyone would want on their team. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. So he comes up empty, missing both. A player like Nurkic is a good piece for any squad. They can rely on him to take care of business inside on both ends of the floor. The man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Throw no good. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. And he can't hit the second. You know, Nicholas Batum is kind of a classic glue guy. He does a little of everything and is always ready to step up and fill any gaps on the floor. Los Angeles has gone one of four from deep. Pass to Powell. Back to Wall. Here's Mann. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. And that one's good. Quick attack by Covington. Not giving the defense a chance to get all over him. Timeout called, Portland. This game against Los Angeles here, their first look at the Clippers. Well, they're gonna face each other a bunch of times this season. Each team wants to make a powerful first impression. They know each other very well, and they'll be getting to know each other a lot better by season's end.
Tide wins low. Here's Sharp. Now covers. Four on the clock. Here's Winslow. Here's Eubanks. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Powell passes to Wall. And it's rejected. A minute 39 left in the opening quarter. Back to Winslow. Here's Sharp. Now covers. It's tipped. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. There's a minute 17 left in the opening quarter. Pass to Covington. Batum outside. Six to shoot. From the top of the key, Powell's shot is off. Portland trailing here. Now Simons. There's 42 seconds left in the first. Pass to Sharp. Oh, it's no good. That one have tied it. And that one's good. Man, great floor awareness. Powell knows how to find his open teammates. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. against Wall, and it's Simons missing. Batum outside. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. And what I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Looking to run whenever they can. That's part of why they lead. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. And the Trailblazers shooting a very low 27% so far on this one. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court. Terrence Mann is out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's George in at the three spot. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, yeah, you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. That's good from George. In my opinion, one of the most talented two-way players of this generation. Paul George has stayed humble throughout his success and has shown that he is willing to do whatever it takes to win. And so he makes both from the line. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Lillard passes to Graham. No good there. And the Clippers will come the other way. You know, last game they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. And just far too many turnovers. You can't expect to win if you can't protect the ball. Aggressive is one thing. Careless is another. You want to stay balanced and poised. Here's Little. Now quiet 
so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Something that Little is still working out. I like seeing him continue to take these threes. Georgia's shot is off. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Little's shot is good. Now another view of that incredible mobile one drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. In his third season, Nazir Little saw increased playing time and the opportunity to show his value, which he did not waste. Not just a knockdown shooter, he does a great job of finding space for his shot. Pass to Graham. Outside Hart. Lillard with the ball. No good on the triple. You know, talking about Little, his 2021-22 season was cut short after suffering a shoulder tear. EA, I hated that. Prior to that injury, Little was having the best stretch of his career, averaging 13 points and 7 rebounds on 45% shooting and 40% from three in 13 games. And the Clippers making a change here. Coffee's checked in. Here's Jackson. Up and in on the layup. Now it's a six-point Los Angeles lead. That quick burst off the pick allows Jackson to separate and get the look he wants. Back to Lillard. The three. Kept alive. Hart got a piece of it. They retain possession. No good on the three. The Clippers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Pass to George. Back to Jackson. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Jackson's gotten his second bucket of the game. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Clippers. Well, it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt. Great job getting the hands up so far, making life difficult for the shooters. They're also managing to make lots of trouble for their opponent in transition. Right away, they're finding points on the break. Now here's Jackson giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Zubac's shot is off. The Trailblazers have got four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Pass to Little. Back to Hart. Five on the clock. Over George. Hart can't hit. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. George with the bucket. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Timeout time time called. The Blazers. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. He's checked in for Portland. Shark comes in for Little. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Powell's checked in. Here's Shark. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Knocks it loose. George with a steal. Here's Coffee. He's covered by Grant. Jackson outside. They grab their own miss. And the basket is good. And now a nine-point Clipper lead. D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Back to Lillard. Jacks up a three. Portland, no good that time either. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. George's shot is good. 
What a silky move by Paul George. He really had the ball on a string. Lillard passes to Hart. Here's Sharp. Back to Hart. Six on the shot clock. The shot, no good. Ooh, nice D from George. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Portland has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Grant, and it's off the back of the rim, no good. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 13 to three run. Jackson outside. Another shot, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Free throw drops from Zubats. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. For the Trailblazers, Watford's checked in for Grant. Winslow comes in for Hart, and Simon has subbed in for Lillard. Batum is checked in for Los Angeles. Wall comes in for Jackson. And Zubats drops them both. Well, Portland's shooting only 29% in this one. Not great. Watford. And it's going to be out of bounds. Portland will have another go. Here's Sharp. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Ball against Simons. Powell outside. to George. Hits a three-pointer. George has got 12 now in this quarter. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Timeout called. Portland coming into this, having notched a win against San Antonio in their last game. And I think they were prepared to face pressure D, but that never materialized, so they took advantage. They came in focused and ready to play, and despite facing little resistance, they never pulled back. in the second quarter. Pass to Sharp. Back to Simons. Here's Sharp. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Three on the clock. And stolen by Covington. From outside the arc. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Nets. And they'll be reaching the back half of a four-game home stretch. Pass to Eubanks. Shoots a fadeaway. And there's the rejection. A sneaky present at the deepest of end. Nicholas Batum was all over that shot. Count it. George has got 16 points. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Here's Simons. And they get it back. On defense, Robert Covington uses his size and athleticism very well. So as we conclude the first half, a fairly one-sided game. Clippers ahead. They lead by 18. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much, guys. 
into a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, play the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offense. Stay true to you, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. Paul George taking care of business in this one. He had 16 points, three rebounds, and one steal. Kenny, what'd you think about the Clippers? Man, this was a ball inside. Shaq, I know you like this. And then guys were sacrificing their bodies, making plays through contact, just wearing the hard hat. That's how this game got out of hand so Looking at Portland, Shaq, your thoughts? I know it's not the case, but it seemed like they were lacking on the offensive game. And these guys were improvising when they should have been making the next pass, but hey, not looking good out there. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Paul George has been sensational. What makes him an exciting player is the ultra-aggressive mindset that we saw over and over in the first half. And not standing around, not settling for perimeter shots, he's looking to attack. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Lillard and Simons are the one and the two. Grant and Nurkic, they're inside at the four and the five. And it's Hart in at the three, the small forward. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Jackson outside, pass to Zubats. Now here's Kennard. Jackson outside. George for three. Portland grabs the miss. Grant's got his fifth rebound in this one. And here's Nurkic, guarded by Morris. The jump hook, it's rebounded by Morris. Morris has got four rebounds in the game. Kennard finds Morris, shoots over Grant, and that's good for two as he grabs the feed. Morris has got nine. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Outstanding triple drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. You know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. And here's Simons outside. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Zubats has got a rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Some players just need an opportunity to succeed. Take Anthony Simons. With increased playing time during the 2021-22 season, we saw him take off. And that one drops for him. He's got five. Very high percentage look for Grant. Those kinds of plays just get you in rhythm and keep you there. Pass to Kennard. Sinks it from distance. And the Clippers lead by 21. Well, for Simons during the 21-22 season, Smitty injuries open the door. And B.A., not just any injuries. Portland was without Dame Lillard and C.J. McCullum most of that season. And Simons filled the void. His scoring went up about 10 points per game. It was stolen by Lillard. Hart passes to Lillard. Shoots over Zubats. Deflected! They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And in this era, we see some stars asking out, saying we don't have enough to win. Smitty, that's not the old school approach, is it? It's not, B.A., but what I would tell you now was totally different than the past. It's the length of contracts. You have players now and teams have the option after one, two, or three years, so it definitely will be a lot of movement. And that one falls for Jackson. And with Reggie Jackson, it's a testament to his natural talent that he often leaves us wanting a little bit more. Littles checked in for Simons. 
coffee. He's checked in for Los Angeles. Man comes in for Paul George. That one falls, so he hits both of them. For Portland, they've gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Back to Lillard. Left side hard. Let's it go from 14. The rebound by Mann. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Shooting for LA. Amir Kofi taking two shots. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. A challenging stretch for Portland here. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Little, looking to win the run. No good on the shot. And Los Angeles the other way now. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Back to man. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Man's got his second basket on the night. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. Outside Hart. Just five to shoot. From the arc. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Nurkic. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Sharps checked in. Powell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. The Clippers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Morris. Back to Mann. Shot clock at six. Here's Powell. Three-pointer. Sharp grabs the miss. Pass to Lillard. Fires from deep. Connects from downtown. Lillard's got six points. When Lillard gets set up like this, it's more or less over. He knocks down a lot of daggers. Down low. Man. Yes. And a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth assist in this one. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Pass to Little. Here's Lillard. Here's Sharp. Hits the front of the rim and out. Los Angeles has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Morris finds Jackson. Outside. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This eases things out in history. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Well, the Trailblazers shooting only 23% so far. Pass to Watford. Back to Lillard. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Lillard's got five points now this quarter. You see the level of creativity Lillard possesses on offense, making these floaters look routine. Here's Covington. Yikes, nothing but air on that one. Well, Portland's shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Pass to Sharp. Lillard outside. Here's Watford, covered by Covington. Here's Sharp, takes a three. Now pulls it in. Out to the wing. Here's Wall. And the big finish by Wall. Are you serious? John Wall with the statement. Oh, that's pretty.
And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sends shockwaves into the opposition sails. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Blazers will retain possession. Simons is checked in for Portland. Fires the three, and it's the Clippers with the rebound. They host the Pistons after this one, and that kicks off a string of three home games for them. To the right side, pass to Powell, five to shoot, and he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Norman Powell is a veteran in this league. He plays to his strengths and rarely tries to force things. Paul George, he's checked in for man. So one for two that time at the strike. Well, Portland's shooting only 23% so far. Pass to Watford. Simons outside, stolen by Wall. And he banks in the layup. And I think that play tells you everything you need to know. They're simply playing at a higher level, getting a steal and turning it into quick points. And so it's Los Angeles in total control. Up by 29 going into the break. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. Back to the game after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And so in the game for Los Angeles, they've got Robert Covington. John Wall is out there with Luke Kennard. Then there's Nicholas Batum, and it's Coffey in at the three. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area, especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Brad, you look at the playoffs last year. I mean, a lot of big-name stars struggle to deliver. Is that every year, or do you think that was an anomaly? I, you know, B.A., I think it was a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I, I think you think what's happened in the league in the last few years with the bubble and then the restart last season. There's been a lot of basketball played, and I think it's impacted a lot of players. So I think moving forward, we'll get back to a level of normalcy with the rest and recovery of the offseason, and big-name stars will continue to excel and thrive in the years to come. Hart's checked in for Portland. Good on the second one. And for the Clippers, they're shooting a nice 50% for the game. Back to Wall. Pass to Kennard. Here's Coffee. Uncovered. Boy, oh, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. 
and he makes it. Well, you have never seen Winslow shy away from physical play. In fact, more often than not, he initiates it. Tries a 10-footer. Got a hand on it. Outside Hart. Fires the three. Here's Watford. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Nick Batum. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Clippers. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. They're also doing a good job working the ball inside tonight. The defense has been struggling to slow them down there in the paint. One thing I know players are happy about, the number of back-to-back -back games is way down from just a few years ago, Smitty. Yes, indeed, B.A. About a decade ago, about a quarter of a team's games were part of a back-to-back. Now it's only about 15%. That's a change everyone likes. Players, coaches, and broadcasters. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Kennard outside. Pass to Coffey. Boom! He jams it straight down. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Outside Winslow. Hard against Kennard. Now here's Johnson. Portland, no good that time either. Wall with it. Kennard outside. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Kennard's got four points now in the quarter. And being that Wall is a point guard, it's his responsibility to facilitate. Just a terrific dime right there. To the paint. Here's Winslow. Portland, no good that time either. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Hard against Kennard. Pass to Wall. Rebounded by Winslow. The Trailblazers have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Back to Johnson. Launches a three. He buries it from three. Johnson's got himself on the board with a three there. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. Pass to Wall. Back to Coffee. Six to shoot. Snaps the way. Throws it up high. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Wall gets the bucket. And playing very well here in the second half. I mean, their shooting percentage is now over 50% from the field. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G slam cam. Outside Winslow. Pass to Hart. And Smitty, so often it seems like we make championships the measure of historical greatness. Is enough made of the individual achievements, you think? Well, it's a team sport. We all want to win, but game recognize game. There's players like Tracy McGrady, Chris Paul, George Gervin, et cetera, et cetera. They haven't won championships, but they are still special. The first one falls. You know, at the 2021 draft, there wasn't much doubt that Keon Johnson was the best athlete in the class. Elite is the word you hear to describe his physical gifts. Boston's checked in for the Clippers. He's off on the second. You know, when it comes to Johnson's athleticism, that really comes into play on defense. B-A-Y, he's high energy, he's tough, and he's active. And with the motor he's got, he never stops working at that end. He's going to be a defensive stopper in this league for a long time. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. 
What you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. Preston's checked in for the Clippers. It's both from the stripe. And last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Honoring Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson. I love bringing up these names again. I agree, B.A. I mean, these are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. So the idea of adding a little hardware and putting their names on it, I couldn't think of anything better. Inside. Clock at six. The shot by Boston, no good. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Sharp, he's checked in for Lillard. And the Clippers making a change here as well. John Wall, he's checked in for Kennard. And they've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. And here's Wall. Shot from 12. That one is off. Here's Johnson. Misses off the left iron. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Coffee. Here's Preston. From the elbow, the shot misses. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Walker for three. Drops in the three. Walker's got his first three points of the game. I don't think the defense had any idea what they were doing there. Clear miscommunication leading to an easy basket for the offense. Pass to Boston. Recently, we've seen a few super teams put together, but it hasn't always been an automatic recipe for success, Smith. Well, B.A., a lot of times you see those super teams on paper. It's all about execution on the floor. And the biggest factor that sometimes hampers super teams is health, and that could be a big factor in upsetting your plan. First one falls for him. So he hits one of two from the strike. No way he is happy with himself right now. He knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Clippers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And they earn win number nine. Each win so important in this league. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them but it must feel great to take the first meeting. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Paul George. High level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Now here's Wall. So it's the Clippers winning this one easily. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Well, Paul, this team seems to be rounding into shape. 
What is your sense of the chemistry right now? Really good, really good, real beneficial. It's great that we was able to pick this one up. That's what it's about. We don't care if it's a blowout or if it's a close one. We need to learn how to do both. So uh, it's great. We were able to pick this up. Good quality team win. Good luck on continuing to build that chemistry. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. So long, everybody.